So question six says, form a polynomial whose zeros and degree are given. Zeros, we have negative four, four, eight, and the degree is three. Remember, zeros are like roots to the solution. So in our polynomial thinking, x mass r is going to be called a factor. And then if you set x mass r equal to zero, x is going to equal r. So r is also going to represent what's called a root or a, or zero. So what we want to do, this x equals r is kind of what we got right now. We want to move this back one and write this as x minus r. So right now we have like x equals negative four. We have x equals four. We have x equals eight. We want to change these all back to factors. So we want to kind of go back a step, go back a step, go back a step. So in other words, if you notice, the signs are going to change. This is going to be x plus four. And this is going to, we're going to then have this x minus four. And we're going to have this x minus eight. Those are going to be my uh, my three factors. So I need some more room here. So what happens is our function is going to be then f of x in factored form. It's going to be x plus 4, x minus 4, x minus 8. That's going to be the actual polynomial function. But they do want us to simplify this. So to simplify this, we do want to expand this out. Notice how this is a difference of squares, x plus 4 times x minus 4. So really, all that's going to be is, is x times x is going to be x squared. Remember, the out and inner terms are going to cancel out. So all we really got to do is multiply the 4 times the negative 4. And that's going to give me this minus 16. And then we got to multiply that by x minus 8. It's not a bad idea to just organize this in the box. So the x squared and the negative 16 would be one side and the x and the negative eight. So this will keep the math organized for me. So then if I just do the math, we can kind of see um, x times x squared times x is gonna be x cubed. x squared times negative eight is gonna be negative eight x squared. Next 16 times x is gonna be negative 16 x. And then negative 16 times negative eight. Let's just do that on a calculator. So 16 times 8, 128. And we do know that a negative times a negative is a positive. So 128 would be here. So that's going to be my four terms. So this is going to be x cubed minus 8x squared minus 16x plus 128. So now said it is a degree 3. And I'll set this is a degree 3 polynomial. So all that is checking out. So that would be what they're looking for.